the right wing media and right wing pundits are creating a incredibly and have created an incredibly dangerous environment for me. Um, this morning, I woke up to Candace Owens being outside of my house with a news crew. Um, she was demanding that I come outside um, and uh, when I looked at the video recording of what she was asking about, she was actually asking about the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation property uh, and for some reason it seems like she thought my house was that um, it's unacceptable and it's dangerous that anybody, any stranger come outside of my house but it's really unacceptable and dangerous when Candace Owens, another black woman who is actually working as a part of a right wing agenda comes outside of my house with cameras um, as you all know I've experienced and many of us have experienced death threats um, many of us are ch have children um, many of us are um, uh, super vulnerable and uh, the fact that she's came outside my house and demanded things harassed me uh, is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. And I'm going to keep doing the work I need to do to make sure that I'm in right relationship with my community, but I'm not going to let the right wing and right wing pundit, pundits and media try to drive me against my community and have the community driven against me. I'm begging and pleading with all of you all to pay attention to what's happening to me and to many other people, many other leaders inside of this movement, pay attention to what's happening because what happened to me today has the potential to open up a floodgates, the floodgates of many other right-wing people that may next time be bearing arms, that may next time be more violent. This is unacceptable. Black people should be able to fight for our rights, for our right to live without being harassed, without being, um, fe without fearing for our lives, without having people, strangers show up to our private and personal property. I am, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm still in shock. Um, thank God I called, obviously, my team. Um, thank God for, for community, for black community, for black movement community here in Los Angeles. Um, I just, I just really, really, like, y'all, I really need my family to be safe. I need to be safe. I need my child to be safe. And this, this, what happened this morning is not safety. It's not what I deserve. It's not what any of us deserve. So just be diligent when you see shit in the media. And you see shit that's being talked about. Please be diligent. Because they are purposefully doing this. They are purposefully building a wedge between black people. Because they know that when we are together, we're stronger. And they've seen what we've done this last decade. They've seen what we've done. And so they're literally trying to destroy us. They're trying to destroy me. They're trying to destroy the movement. Okay, so this is insane. In real time right now, I am watching uh, Patrice Cullors do a live claiming that I went to her property and demanded to speak to her. Um, and she's, I don't know if I can describe it, she sounds like she's really scared. Um, we're working on a documentary talking about all the funding pertaining to Black Lives Matter. 
Obviously, we know that Patrice and a lot of the founders purchased million dollars home, million dollar homes in white neighborhoods. Uh, they also purchased a Black Lives Matter property. So we went to the property and asked if there was anyone that we could speak to. Very politely, by the way. We've got cameras in tow, so there's no way she can live. It's all on camera. And we just said, is there anyone we can speak to? Nobody asked us to leave. Um, the person went inside. It was just a white man that we saw outside that was providing security, which is super interesting because obviously Patrice here is anti-police. And so she's, oh my God, I think she's crying on this live, pretending that she was harassed. We, Like I said, very politely to the guys, or anyone we can speak to. Um, my name's Candace Owens. We never went over the gate. It was just me ringing a doorbell, trying to speak to someone. He said absolutely nothing. He started just recording us. And we said, okay, if there's no one we can speak to, we're going to leave. Um, Patrice is pretending to be scared because she knows that this Black Lives Matter lie is falling apart. Um, and she doesn't know what to do. I mean, people are aware of the scam that is Black Lives Matter. She's intentionally limited the comments, so you can't even comment on this post, because I was going to comment and be like, this is a complete lie, and we have it all on camera in terms of what happened. So what you are seeing right now is the face of a woman who is pretending she's afraid of right-wing pundits, when in reality, she's being exposed as a fraud who took millions, used the faces of black people, took millions of dollars to fund herself, to fund her lifestyle, to fund her girlfriend, and to buy million dollar mansions in neighborhoods where no black people live. So Patrice, um, this footage that we, this story that we're covering is a, a significant one. I have always been interested in the fraud that is Black Lives Matter, your fake tears, your crocodile tears about someone politely ringing your gate and speaking to your white security guard and, and asking if there was anyone that I could talk to because I was covering the story. Um, not really going to cut it, Patrice. This is only going to commit me further to discovering the truth about what you have done with this funding. Black people died. You used their faces to raise money. You demanded that the policing be stopped. You demanded that police officers be defunded, but you've got a private security detail um, outside of million dollar homes. It just doesn't work this way, sweetheart. So um, the truth shall set you free or Candace Owens shall set you free, girl, because I'm about to tell the truth. All right, we're still filming. Bye.